What's up everybody, it's The Legend of W here and I am checking out the Sony CES 2020 press conference live. Well, you're gonna watch this as a pre-recorded video, but I'm going to check out and see if the rumors are true about a PS5 reveal, which I have a lot of doubt on, but we're gonna find out and see what happens. Oh boy, no music. No music. There's no music. Oh, what? I hear some. Oh. Sony's purpose. Fill the world with emotion through the power. Power of what? One year ago? Okay, last year? Creativity, when combined with technology, brings about amazing content. Okay. But to help them expand the possibilities of their storytelling. Okay, Creating 8K, and deliver yeah. As the creators of that content yeah. intended it to be seen. High, high quality, yeah, Officer. movie. PlayStation 5. PlayStation 5. PlayStation 5. Come on. Good evening. Good evening. Happy 2020. Happy New Year. Sony continues to be a leader in immersive entertainment experiences. Mm -hmm. And gaming is no exception. Gaming? Game PS5. Gaming PS5. P PS4 Pro? PSVR? Okay. Oh. Final Fantasy? God of War? We've seen and played these games? PlayStation 5, please. Play. To share a little bit more about the latest PlayStation news. It is my pleasure to introduce huh? from Sony Interactive Entertainment. Yes. Jim Ryan. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. PlayStation 5. He's gonna he's gonna present it, maybe, or maybe tease us. Like, oh hey guys, we're gonna have Thank a you, you teaser next month. And good afternoon, everybody. Uh, good afternoon. One or month ago good evening. we celebrated the twenty-fifth anniversary of the PlayStation brand. 25 years ago, we launched the original PlayStation, thanks to the creative vision of an engineer, Ken Kudaragi. That original PlayStation helped to elevate him. video games to mainstream <laughs> culture and popularized 3D graphics and home console gaming. Uh -oh. The spirit of innovation and how Sony used technology to make a generational leap in real-time interactive entertainment continued with each successive platform from PlayStation 2 to PlayStation 3. Okay. PlayStation is the true embodiment of a creative entertainment company with a solid foundation of technology. And it's our mission yep. to embrace the entire creative community, elevating their content on our platform for PlayStation fans. And so? That commitment will carry us through as we embark on the launch of our next generation console, there we PlayStation go. 5. There we go. Coming this holiday. This holiday, okay. And I'm pleased Come to on. share with you today, yeah. for the first time, our new logo. The logo. Okay, we, we kind of knew this was happening. With more people in the world playing more games why, why on no more clapping? devices than ever before. It's truly an exciting time for the gaming industry. Okay. Come this holiday, Sony will once again have the opportunity to sign a light on the world of PlayStation with our next generation console. Yep. We've announced several key features of the PS5 hardware, oh. which has been engineered with customizations that will okay. truly differentiate the platform, including future-proof technology such as ultra-high-speed SSD, right. 3D audio, ultra-HD Blu-ray, okay, okay. and a brand new controller with haptics and adaptive S trigger buttons. Some of the stuff that we knew that already, right? PS5 will inspire developers to create expansive worlds with new gameplay experiences that are more immersive than ever before in how they look, sound, and feel. Hmm. Our promise to the 100 million strong PlayStation community yes. is to offer the biggest and best in content and to deliver unique experiences to gamers with unprecedented speed. Just show us the console already, please. There's much more to share about PlayStation 5 in the months ahead. Months? We look forward to revealing more details, including the content that will showcase the platform and the future of gaming. How about now? Community is the bedrock of how we grow our company, and it's why our brand okay. is so beloved. 
It's that promise that the PlayStation brand was built on 25 years ago. Okay. And we'll continue our mission to bring that to players all around the world. Thank you. No, no, just the logo. We don't get to see the controller or the console itself. There. I gotta look online. Some, there has to be something online. I don't know. I'm desperate for something. Hideo Kojima, PS5. <laughs> Jeff Keighley, PlayStation 5 logo has been revealed. <laughs> Me after the whole conference. <laughs> I mean, that's how I feel. Everyone is so focused on the new PlayStation 5 logo that they didn't realize Sony also announced the PS6 logo right after. Wow. Very accurate. Some quick Photoshop. I love how removing the top line of the five shows it's the exact letter of the P, but upside down. Love the consistency. Good logo. Keeping it consistent. Sony's lead graphic designer coming up with the PlayStation 5 logo. I mean, it's just that simple. That looks awesome. I believe we already knew about this stuff coming to the PlayStation 5, but at least it's more than official now, I guess. Uh, 3D audio sound, haptics, uh, adaptive triggers, ultra high speed SSD, hardware based ray tracing, and ultra HD Blu ray. It, it sounds really impressive, but I want to see more. You had one job, Sony. Let's check it out. Oh, he's going to flip the, wow, I, I never knew you could do that. This is a big, big reveal. I think they should have kept that logo. <laughs> okay. I can't say that I'm surprised at all. I mean, I would have actually been really surprised if Sony actually showed the PlayStation 5 at CES, which is something that they don't normally do. Sony did announce the PS4 back in 2013 at their own event known as the PlayStation Meeting 2013. And I get the feeling that Sony might want to pull off that same move again for the PS5. I mean, it could, it could not happen, but I get a good feeling that we might know a little bit more about it next month. But Jim Ryan did say that we're going to find out more in the upcoming months, so there's a chance that we might not get any info until probably maybe April, May, which to me is kind of a little bit strange, but then again, it's PlayStation, so I imagine that they feel confident that even if they reveal the PlayStation 5, say, in June, they're going to have uh, an amazing launch. So they might feel really confident about their launch titles as well. So it, that's just my take on it. I have no clue what's going to happen. Uh, again, I'm not surprised on what happened at CES. And I think not many people are. I mean, maybe some people might be. I have no clue. <laughs> I did find it a little bit strange that Sony would just announce the logo and that's it. But honestly, the logo is simple, very nice, just the way I like it. Um, that's all I can comment about the logo. <laughs> There's nothing else. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. I kind of have my doubts that Sony will reveal the PS5 at E3 since they didn't show up at E3 last year. Instead, I think it's a little more probable, at least another possibility, that Sony might reveal the PS5 in their State of Play episode. I think it would be a little bit strange if they did that, but they are trying to make their State of Play show uh, I guess exciting or something like that so I guess it would make a little bit of sense to have it in a state of play episode to reveal at least most of their launch titles if there's a state of play in February I think 
we're gonna get the best chance in seeing the PlayStation 5 and maybe some of the launch titles. I'm just very excited to see what the launch titles will be and, and what future titles will come through to the PlayStation 5. I don't know exactly what may come through to the PlayStation 5 at launch or within the first year, but I'm gonna take a guess that perhaps Square Enix is going to show us something uh, with the reveal of the PlayStation 5. Why Square Enix? Well, I, I just get that feeling. I don't know. I, I guess you can call it a gut feeling. I kind of get that feeling, especially with Final Fantasy VII Remake coming out this March. It kind of makes sense to me that after that game is released, they will be focusing more on next gen and I think they already have a lot of things planned out for next gen which wouldn't be surprising for me I actually would be surprised if they had absolutely nothing to show for next gen so uh, I, I get the feeling that if it's not a, a Final Fantasy 16 it's more probable maybe Final Fantasy 7 remake part two since I believe this is supposed to be a part a three part or four part uh, series so, but we're gonna have to see what happens will square finally announce Final Fantasy versus 13 whatever it's called mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. please I can dream I can dream besides Square Enix on the third party side obviously the first party side of Sony will have something to reveal for the PS5 and I, I kind of believe that it will be a gorilla and perhaps Santa Monica with God of War? I'm just saying, just anything can happen. I, I really hope it's God of War because God of War 2018 was amazing, amazing. I'm just another guy that has no clue what's going to happen, but I'm really excited to see what's going to happen in the next few months. Hopefully we get some really, really good info, uh, hopefully next month. If not, then maybe some time late first quarter, early second quarter. Anyways, everybody, that is going to be it for this video, so let me know what do you think Sony will reveal next. I believe it may be the PlayStation 5 console. And the controller together, possibly, or maybe just the controller by itself. And I believe we're going to see some launch titles from Gorilla and Square Enix. I have no clue who else is going to reveal stuff, but I think those two are the most probable that we're going to see soon. So let me know in the comment section what you think, and that is going to be it. So thank you so much for watching, everybody. And if you enjoyed this video, smash like, subscribe, and smash the bell button for more. And I will see you all in the next video. Peace.